Hi guys. So this is going to be, uh, first of all, I probably labeled this video something very dramatic about quitting copywriting. And that is not, uh, that's accurate for what happened. Um, okay. So let me take it back. First of all, obviously I uploaded that challenge video of like, I'm going to do all this money and um, we're going to, we're going to hustle and all these things are going to happen. And I was wrapping up a few projects at that time. And then my main retainer client, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to get into it. I don't even want to get into it. Some, some things happened and there went that, which was not my mistake. It was their mistake. A hundred percent. I would tell this to their face. Um, so, uh, all of my work, I mean, I still had little clients here and there and little projects and little things. All of my work, essentially main work went to zero. And for the first time in my life, I was like, I'm quitting. I'm done. Like that's my hair's all over the place. We're just filming this on a whim. I finally had the wherewithal to sit down and film this and talk about it. I'm in my warm hoodie. It is like 19 degrees outside in Denver. I'm not about it. <laughs> I, so everything came to a stop and I was like, this is my chance. This is my chance to leave this industry and be done. And I debated deleting my entire channel, all of my social media, thinking about never posting on social media again, taking that pressure off, never making another YouTube video, closing my website and just getting a regular job and being done with it. Um, and I really, really stopped that course for like a few weeks. And I picked up a, uh, you know, I went back to my roots and did a little holiday bar, <laughs> working in a little holiday bar because I knew better. I knew better than to sit around and think about my life and think about what to do next. That is not how I operate. I've done that before in my life. Um, I am not a good just sit around and reflect and think kind of person. That just leads to like seven layers of just depression and anxiety. So I was like, all right, let me get outside. Let me go talk to people. Let me do something. Let me, you know, made some cash tips. Like that sounds great. Um, and just do something else. And at that moment for a few weeks, I was like, I'm absolutely done with online marketing. This is the end of my career. This is it. I, I did a good job. I hung up my hat. The end. So naturally, after a few weeks, I was like, you know what would be nice? You know, it'd be nice. Or I'd be working and talking to people and I'm like, you know what you should do? You should create an email funnel. Like I, I thought I was done. What really is the case is that I needed a break. I needed, I have for, I don't know, 11, 12, 13 years now thought about clients, getting clients, client work all the time, all the time. It's all I thought about and thought about um, creating social media content to get clients, thinking about networking, thinking about client campaigns that I'm working on, thinking about like, and taking that pressure off for five seconds was very needed. Um, mainly to realize that like, I'm not done. We're fine. I'm going to continue. Like we're back on, we're back on track. <laughs> But I needed that so bad to stop and think about if this is really what I like to do with my life. Um, is this what I want? Is this fun for me? Um, do I like helping people become copywriters? Do I still recommend it? I know everyone's scared of AI and everyone's like, this this field is ending, which is so funny because AI copy is fine, but it's not great, you know? And if clients want to use it, then honestly, Godspeed. You know, I've seen campaigns that are only based on AI copy. They don't do as well, spoilers, as human written. Um, side tangent. Anyway, uh, you know, but yeah, I quit. I really quit. I really was done. I was ready to throw it all away. Thankfully, I didn't impulsively do that. I changed my mind. But I needed a break, which... I don't even know if there's a lesson here for you guys of just like, sometimes you should take a break. Sometimes you should reevaluate. Sometimes you should, um, you know, be able to build up your savings enough to, uh, take some time off. I mean, I'm not even, I'm not going to get too personal on this channel. Cause like, I don't, we, this seems weird, but like this year, almost this year, this has been the hardest year in a 
personal, professional. I mean, it's the best year I've ever done work-wise. I've made the most money I think I've, I think I've ever made. Um, at the same time, this year tried to kill me. <laughs> Everything that could go wrong in someone's personal life went wrong in 2023. So we're ending on an okay note. Like things are okay. We're on the up and up guys. Like things are getting better, but it was very, very hard to have personal tragedy after personal tragedy every few months and continue to push on. And I just needed a break. Um, so I took it, I took it. And um, yeah, it took me about two weeks to realize I'm absolutely insane. There, I mean, I'm still, I'm, you know, I'm still dabbling and looking at like nine to five jobs. It would be nice to just be able to focus back on the creative and not have to focus on getting clients. Like that would kind of be sick a little bit here and there. At the same time, oh my, it took me about two or three weeks to realize that my remote life is beautiful. I am a, I, this is going to sound like a lot of privilege and spoilage and spoilage and being spoiled. And it's true. I am. Um, in the fact that I, well, first of all, built this all my goddamn self. Um, uh, but being able to go work out at two in the afternoon, because that's just the vibe is something I took for granted. And I took my remote life for granted. So now I am not only so passionate about freelance copywriting for myself, I am now so damn passionate about freelance copywriting freelance work, whatever, for most people. I, I be just tiptoeing into the real job world, especially like bar life and especially like pitching for jobs and doing job applications, which why are there six interviews for every job these days? Why do all jobs take two months? Look at a portfolio and pull the trigger guys. Like this isn't hard. That's how I've hired people. Like, okay, cool. Here's a paid test assignment mess it up or don't like let's move on let's move quick um absolute insanity out there i yes i clearly have built a good life for myself and i did not clearly appreciate how nice remote life and avoiding the job struggle is because what the fuck is going on out there is everyone okay um no. So I am running back to the safety of my copywriting position. I also just love it. So, um, you know, so, uh, now that I've had that realization, I don't, you know, the challenge was fun. We'll see if I even come close to anything of that. Just now I only have flight. I mean, I was doing good. I got about a third of the way through the 12 K of just like outside of my client work. So I, things were rolling. I just, a woof. A woof. What a year. Um, so not only am I going to be doing copywriting again, we are back on the channel and I'm going to start thinking about workshops and products and courses and things where I can take all of these years of experience and how great this beautiful remote creative life is that I lead and help more people do that. Um, you know, obviously a lot of you you guys follow me for that reason because this is what you want and I was like why do you want this like it's hard it's a struggle nah what I did like I did I did I did fight myself of thinking I don't know I just I just thought like okay this is what like most people do but also I'm in, in such a bubble of like freelance writers and like entrepreneurs and and people who do their own thing that I'm like, this is how everyone lives. This is not how most people live. Most people are out here struggling as hell and not even just financially. I mean, the job market, I mean, trying to find clients through like job boards. What the, f what the fuck is happening on job boards? What is happening out there? Why are companies so slow? I have always worked with clients who were just like, yeah, okay, your portfolio solid. Here's a piece paid you done. I have always hired people where I'm like, even if they don't have a portfolio, I'm like, I just, you know, I like your energy. Like, let's just, here's a paid test assignment. Let's go. Like, what is the fuck is happening out there? Oh my God. Is America okay? 
I don't even know if this is a worldwide phenomenon. Do most jobs take like seven to like two months, seven weeks to like two months to get your toe in the door? Like people could go homeless in that time. What the fuck? Who, who can wait that long for one job? Anyway, much less other jobs where you have no control of your schedule and you're just called in and summoned whenever the manager like decides that they want you in. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This, I, this is the most, I like, I'm not offended by just the amount of privilege I've had and the perspective that I did not realize I had. Um, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I come from absolute, absolute single parent poverty of, so I know, I know I watched it my whole growing up life. Um, how fucking hard it can be out there. But I, I just thought, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I don't know what I thought. I've, I've just been working with clients for all these years and I just pitch and I, sorry, this is a lot of tangent. I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked what the state of the world is. So I want to help you guys get out of it and myself. Like, I mean, obviously this is how I've worked for so long, but I want to take everything in here that I thought was just common knowledge and take it and help you guys. So I think, I think we're going to start January with like, I, maybe like a pitching thing, maybe like taking my pipeline book, which I think a lot of people have bought, but like doing like a course or something with it. So like you have some accountability, you have to come in, you got to do it and follow through on it. Not just like buy the ebook and let it sit in your email until the end of time. Um, just a thought. Um, so I am not only going to start products and upload constantly, I need to keep sharing what I know because it is rough out there and I, we all need to get out of that, whatever that is. Um, you know, so I'm also starting a side company that I thought would be very fun for me to start that has nothing to do with marketing, but, um, it's way more fun to start your own stuff than to like, Anyway, so I'm, this is very ranty. This was a month of realizations. I haven't left my client pitching bubble in over a decade. So, um, but you know, everyone should have the freedom to live a remote life and have not only money, but work-life balance. And I won't say that I have great work-life balance because I also work, as I've mentioned, all the time. And I'm always thinking about work and all the things, but there's also a lot of that I do by choice. And I think everybody should have at least a side hustle that gives them this kind of freedom, even whether or not you want to be like a full-time freelance copywriter, but like just having the freedom of choice is incredible. Um, so we're going to talk about that more. I'm so sorry I was MIA for most of this year. Like I said, my personal life was trying to kill me, which almost led me to quitting my entire career. Um, so now that everything is finally, I feel like back on track, we are back on the upload train and oh my God, we are, we are back to the pitching. We are back to the content. I, I, Whatever you guys need, like you let me know where you're stuck so I can make videos and content around where you're stuck because I feel like I've talked about everything, but like also I probably not enough. So we need to keep rinsing and repeating and going over and continuing on. So videos to come. Love you guys. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for your patience. Um, let me know. Just say hi in the comments. Like, where are you guys? Like, what, what's happening with you? How can I help? what can we talk about um I'm gonna sit down and think about things and map out some content for a few months try and get ahead of this content schedule so I might be a little quiet while I try and get ahead um yeah that's pretty much it yep okay that's it bye guys